Alrighty, so this is Hiko Simon here. Uh, just a whim hit me tonight. I thought I'd make some music from now. It's Saturday night, so make some music. Do some hip hop. I always wanted to make a track that I could uh, lay down as a back track for Roaming Gaijin to do something with. So this is this is my appeal to Roaming Gaijin. I should I should get my Roaming Gaijin hat, shouldn't I? Boom, there it is. Check that out. The first thing with this is uh, I've actually already got this up. Well, I'm going to create a new new track. So this is create a new loop. Um, generally, I think I've got what about a 108 tempo. Well, this is kind of a rap thing, but at the same time, I've got, kind of got a track in my head. I'm not going to say uh, I'm going to do this. Too. So I'll think of the track and I'll tap the rhythm of that. So it's a. Uh, you know what? So the track I'm thinking of. It's probably actually almost. It's probably actually a 108. This is a 110, so I'll stick with that. Um, the other settings I'm okay with for now. So boom, take that off. As you can see, uh, red. Um, you got all these different lights here. Uh, this the, the the default. The setup by default is that uh, the reds are basically all your uh, beat, your drum loop, uh, your, your your drum backgrounds. This is kind of a, a one-off, like beeps and drums and uh, sirens and kind of like basically hits. This is more your kind of um, melodic kind of background, like your organs and stuff like that. Blue is bass. One thing I found with the Korg app is that the, the bass apps are pretty overdone. Uh, the bass sounds are overdone, actually. They, they tend to dom over-dominate the tracks a little bit. I get it. Bass is good, bass is good, but you know, I like my bass a little bit eased back, but there's a few uh, bass, bassy things I can use there. There's also two others for in terms of the treble. Um, yellow is the main dominant treble, but you've also got some orange kind of, uh, they call it acoustic on this. So you've got lead sounds and acoustic sounds. You know, the acoustic is something like a guitar or something like that, but you know, then you've got the, the kind of beeps and the blues that I also quite like on the, on the main thing, but I don't want this to dominate. I want this to be a backtrack for either talking or for rhyming gaijin. So in that case, I think I'm going to focus more on getting beats, which frankly, I've always used about three of these slots. And when, once you get into this, five slots isn't enough, actually. I tend to use three slots just on beats. Anyway, but let's get into this and start making some sounds. So uh, a couple of things with this with the set. Uh, for a start, you can pick the type of uh, scale that you want to use. The default Ionian is, is nice and it's easy to use, but I always try to challenge myself by doing something a bit different. I've used this enough, I kind of know the ones I like, and I try to get away from you doing those too much, so I'm going to... Arabia kind of sucks, I really like Egypt, I really like actually Nuku. Uh, Nuku, but I'll tell you what, I'm going to go with... Uh, see, blue blue sounds good, but it doesn't work. Let's try M Harmon. And let's make the key... I don't know, let's just make it an F sharp. don't know what that will produce, it doesn't really matter, we're just doing a beat first, so this is just so I can uh, do with the other stuff. Okay, that's a bit heavy, but the dubstep stuff, is there something there? Oh, that's usable. Sure, I'm going to use a dubstep beat, okay. I'm going to keep it low key at the beginning. So first of all, let's create a simple loop for that. This is just a short 4 beat length, so... Okay, you can actually make it up to 4 bars, you know, which I might extend it later if I want to put a variation into the beat. But for now, that's good enough for me. Let me, uh... So, uh, take down the sound of it so I can hear myself talking. Okay, that's pretty good. So, next, let's go into some variation on that. And I'll, I'll do two or three of these strikes. This is where I like to really personalize the beat, actually. Rather than do too much on the preset loops, I like to play around with this stuff. You can really do lots of cool stuff here. Whoops, I had that recording. I don't want to do that yet. First, you want to play around, find something that's cool, and then you record it. Boom. Boom. Let's go make it more simple. And uh, maybe hi-hat. I always end up on hi-hat. I always end up with subtle stuff. Let's try to do something a bit new. I'm always trying to do something new, something I haven't done before. Let's try simple. That kind of works, actually. Okay, so we'll do that, and I'll do another green. Let's do another stroke. Boom. So let's go through the menu, figure out something else kind of drummy. Yeah, the high pitch things get a bit... They dominate the vocals a little bit, actually, so I still might change that yet, but let's see. Uh, 
and there I see sirens and stuff I really want to use but I'm not going to use them broken drums let's do the hit dicer I like this I think I want to vary that a little bit so I'm going to do this on a longer sequence so that's your 4 beat that's 8 and that's 16 that's 4 bars I think I'm going to use 4 bars for this okay there's a sweet spot and it's small okay let's try some bass I always find the bass gets a little bit heavy really easily so let's try jazz bass this is where the um, the key that you choose really comes into play actually as to whether it sounds good or not and you need to play around and get familiar with the kind of sounds that you get out of it first before you settle on something that was pretty cool the thing is you find something cool and you can never recreate it that's what drives me nuts when you get into the melodic parts but let's just try something random this is just a 4 beat nah that's it's the part way through. Let's make this a little bit longer as well. Challenge ourselves. The question is, do I do another drum or do I do a, another beat thing? I feel like doing another beat thing. I, I could make this more complicated, but I'm going to do something high actually. So let's just uh, see what we can add to this. But the problem is, it's hard to make into a track if you don't add anything more melodic. So actually, that's where I might. Hmm, let's see what's good here. Can I trim all? Okay, this... I see some potential there. Let's draw this out a bit. Let's make this long, take a risk. Okay, and this is where you get into the performance bit. You can actually mute parts. Oh, man, that's nice. Okay, I'm quite happy with that. I don't know if the, the, the beeping part is appropriate, but uh, I like it. Let's see if I can uh, complicate the beat a little bit. That doesn't really feel right, does it? That feels a little bit hyper-hyper. It feels like that should be something more subtle. What about the other one? I actually like that. That's keepable. That's kind of buzzy. That's kind of electronic. Okay, that's a track. And I just got to name it. So what I call this track? That's the final, the final thing. Two minutes left. I guess the other thing, I'm not going to name it until I'll show you how I perform it. I mean, this is how I generally perform it, so... Okay, I'm gonna take that off. And this is how I perform it. So stop that. Boom, 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 boom. Turn on the recording functionality, which I'm just gonna put on here. I'm just gonna show you how to do this. I'm not gonna do the whole thing because I don't have enough time left on the memory card on this camera. But generally, hit record. But first of all, I decide what I wanna start with. And you know what? I think I'm gonna start with the, with the trim log and the, the, the drums. So let's do that. Record and play. Build it up in layers. So four beats on that, add another layer. Four beats, another layer. Then probably the drum will be the main part. But maybe I'll leave one of the drums off. I don't know. In fact, something it'll go back to the loop afterwards if you record it it'll change the loop I'm still not sure about that one I might change it but I'm varying the main beat at the moment Kind of cool. That's pretty much it. That's how I do my thing. I'm 
might refine this a little bit more and I'll give it a name. And that is my Roman Gaijin appeal thing. That is my background to give him something to freestyle to and I can upload that to SoundCloud as you can see on the menu there. And it's awesome and this is just fun. And I, I spent a whole flight just doing that whole uh, Grooves for YouTubers album that all my stuff is Creative Commons. It's free. You can use it. I want you to use it. Put it on your videos. Love it. Um, and that's all cool. So this is how I make my music. Um, and it's fun. Check it out. It's a, it's, a, it's a great app and it's worth it. So uh, enjoy. Peace. Oh.